Mexico. <laughs> you try to resolve that. It's an SOS. You can't look at him. You can't look at him. Wow, that was an interesting jam. <laughs> what an ending. Just, Epic. Yeah. Can we can we put a tab out for that? Oh, I'll put, I'll put a tab out I'll, and I'll put the little text bit in where I made a mistake and went, oh, during the jam as well. Crackers. <laughs> 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 everyone. What are we doing today, Dee? Oh, mate, today we are talking about these uh, outstanding Masterworks Elite. Pretty beautiful yeah. things, aren't they? I was, I was actually bowled over when I pulled this out. It was like, yeah. I've got to be honest, they're not my cup of tea because I like, I think we all do. We're, we're, we yeah. all sort of lean towards the traditional yeah. understated and the brand itself is pretty understated. But we made these and they are really pretty. But I have to say, when we were talking about the prices of these earlier, yeah. I think you sort of blew me away a bit at how inexpensive they are for the quality i mean it's it's like really outstandingly high quality so Isn't masterworks it? elite there's only six models they're all walnut there's this one which is all solid wa walnut so solid what black walnut top solid black walnut backs and sides tim is the 70 this is the 77 so tim's is solid triple a sitka with solid walnut backs and sides they have real power abalone purfling the reason i say real is because you can buy shell in different ways and you can buy processed shell where they scrape the shells, it all goes in and then gets made into a strip and you can buy strips like this long. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it has a grayness to that. And it's because it's processed, you, you, they take a lot of the, the, the natural sort of um, colors seem to fade. This is real and you can tell because it's this in power, there's lo lots of different types of abalone, red, green, blue, and power abalone. You get all these many different colors in there. When these things catch the light, like yeah. really, really lovely. So ours is real, it's put in by hand. And then they also have, all have ebony, Macasa ebony binding, and they all have a Macasa ebony, but very slim bevel, just yeah. to take the edge mm. off. So it's yeah. not taking a lot of the top away, or the side, it's just just really, just 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 a little added extra functionality for comfort. I like it, and what about the internal electrics? LR bags. LR bags VTC. Mm -hmm. So VTC, I don't know if anybody, so it has a, has a um, sound hole console. Yeah. But a VTC comes, it's like, it has a preamp built into the end pin, which actually comes into the guitar by that far. So it's about that big. Right. And that's the preamp mm -hmm. to the system. So it has their element pickup, yeah. preamp built in here, sound hole console with uh, uh, tone and, and volume. Really nice sort of, very consistent system and really reliable. We hardly get like any complaints about them or anything comes back. So they've absolutely nailed it. And you know, they're, they're just, if you're looking for, you know, we've talked about listening mm -hmm. with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. And I pulled this one out, it's like, wow. You know, it's just, just the, the walnut, it, it has a shadow burst, and, but it's very light. Mm -hmm. And it just looks like a really beautiful instrument. And as you said, they, you know, in the States, they sell for under a thousand bucks, which is which is quite something for an all solid with this much yeah. work and detail needed. What, what are the tuners? Because they're different, aren't they? Again, our, our kind of OEM tuners, we, we, we used to try and find stuff all the time and we've basically settled on something which is very consistent. Mm -hmm. And for the price point, yeah, they're super they don't smooth. go wrong, they're very smooth. They're, they're really, and they're really um, a little bit higher up than what we use accurate. in the rest of the line. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a great I would say anybody sort of a stage guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tonally, the walnut is very focused. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a bit like mahogany, sim in that similar sort of range. Tonally though, they're superb, aren't they? Tonally, they're great. You know, it, it's it's a different thing than than a spruce. Actually, his you know Tim is a bit different. These um, walnut ones, super focused sound, really nice and clear, like lots of clarity. It'd be yeah, great yeah. recording when you were playing. Um, your lead stuff on there before it sounded fantastic. So, you know, plenty low end. Mm. But a nice sparkle. Mm. Yeah, I think they're great. Like, oh, this, these are the same guitars, but different shapes, right? Yours, yours two are the same. Yeah, yeah. but you've got a folk, oh. and I've got the GA. 
So yours is slightly bigger. Mm. But like, just in terms of how they play, they do play. They feel expensive. Yeah, yeah they do. I'll give you that. They feel, Straight they out of the box. Expensive. <laughs> like, I was surprised because it's not my cup of tea either. Mm -hmm. It's close to. You know, maybe just get rid of it. Uh, this, I understand that it's like really nice and, it, and like makes it look expensive, but it's just like not personally my taste. But the look and feel expensive. It's not just, it's not just about like, how they look. The, Tim, you were saying something about it would suit electric player or something. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before about cutaways on acoustic guitars. They always kind of make you feel more comfortable uh, if you're an electric player because you're used to getting up there. You can get up there. Used easily. to cutaways. Yeah, used to cutaways. Cut and the other thing with these is they just feel really solid. Yeah. Like, and it's not affecting the tone, right? Mm hmm. They, sound, sound, they actually sound really good. But there's something that just is reminding them. Great um, resonance, you know? Yeah, like, uh, it's like, like overtones. You know, like you pick up a Les Paul and you plug it into an amp and it sustains, like really, really like level. evenly level. Inserts, but what you're not top getting top there is, is there's not a lot of overtones there. No. This is very consistent. When have you played an all solid warm up before? Uh, never, because this, this one. Will be the first time, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that, do you think that's what I'm hearing? I, I would presume so. Yeah, different back and sides is yeah. doing that. And but just the thing is as well with that is you've got, when you play an acoustic guitar with loads of overtones, right? It's like an acquired taste to acoustic guitar players, mm -hmm. right? So you get, if you get used to playing electric guitar, you kind of get used to your electric guitar sound. You're not going to get loads of mad overtones and whatever. Mm -hmm. So this, with its like consistent sound, is decaying like an electric guitar. Whereas mm -hmm. if I play my Yairi, I'm going to get like, all those high frequencies, and the, the, and the weaving in yeah, it. weaving. The sound's gonna kind of mm -hmm. pulse, mm -hmm. and I think that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, Maybe that's the answer to the question we couldn't figure out. Yeah, it's decaying like an uh, acoustic guitar. Very consistent. It's electric. Yeah, but when you put, were playing your lead earlier, that was like I felt it was like really like balanced, strong, like yeah. tight. So that like it would be great in a as an on sort of sta stage because, guitar. Yeah, because an acoustic guitar, like obviously the the higher up the neck you go on the, th on, mm -hmm. on, on the lighter strings, the more you lose yeah. mm. the energy, right? It just, just goes, it's just yeah. not really there. But this just doesn't seem to um, work like that. This, it, it, does feel, it, it feels like a, like a so, more solid mass of... Yeah. I, I think this is a great, these are great guitars. I mean, I'm gonna say the same thing. And also with the, with the playing up the neck, I played like this lick, came out in the jam. And that's not something I would ever play on acoustic guitar. Normally, that's solely reserved for electric. But I just felt myself. Oh, I can. That's I can, cool. I can hit it here. I so can, you felt? Yeah, I felt like really comfortable yeah. at home immediately on this guitar. That's not mine, and it's just come out of a out of a box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, that's great. Yeah. Well, if a, if a guitar makes you go for stuff, then there's, yeah, something, yeah. there's something happening, right? Yeah, then it's a good guitar. Like, there's no doubt about it. I've never played a Masterworks Elite that I can think of before this week. Yeah. And I wasn't sure what they were about. Yeah. But they are. They're Great. Very good. Glad you're happy. These feel like they're like they're sort of. Can I say that they're, they're sort of getting towards the Yairi end of things? You know, the two lines of, of Masterworks and Yairi, there's some overlapping. Mm. Yeah. I think there's different things that are better in both for different reasons. You know, some like MD60 or MD70BG, mm -hmm. you've got masses of tone going on. Yeah. These is a lot of refinement, clarity. You know, there's it's it's a less broad projection. And I think uh, you're probably enjoying that, especially when we're jamming and you can hear things cutting through really nice. Mm -hmm. I was blown away. I haven't seen one of these for a while. The f quality of the finish, how flat, how flat the finish is, mm -hmm. and, 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 and how, how well they've done the inlays. But check them out. Masterworks Elite. Definitely yeah. check them out. So, certainly impressed us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, guys.